I'm looking forward to meeting new people and learning new things. I'm especially excited to share my thoughts on the relationship between humans and AI. The power of Rhodes House is to really bring uh, amazingly thoughtful leaders from across disciplines into this one place and have really challenging and intellectually stimulating conversations at the intersection of technological progress and the associated societal and ethical challenges. The World Food Program is one of the largest humanitarian organizations in the world. We are first responders. What we do is to find the most recent innovations to solve the problems that we are addressing. So we are not technology driven, yet problem driven, and then we try to find the relevant solutions for, for those challenges that we see on the ground. Technology and society are two words, but they are intrinsically linked in our humanity. And it's really important that we steward conversations from a diverse set of voices and stakeholders. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Code First Girls. We are one of the largest communities of women coders in the world. To date, uh, we've provided over 150,000 learning opportunities for women to learn how to code for free. We plan to deliver a million over the next five years, and we anticipate the employment from that alone will add over a million pounds worth in economic opportunity to the global tech economy. It's very important to bring together these different communities from academia and industry. It vitalizes a business, it breathes life into, into um, industry and allows us to bring products and services into people's lives that uh, stay connected to uh, theory, uh, to exploration, to big ideas. These bridges can be built and they can make a difference. I think it's very important, and I felt a discussion today, especially in the panel that I was in, was very practical, very with a lot of useful guidance for, for the future innovators, but also other practitioners. And so maybe some information that I provided today could be an insight for someone doing research or going to do work in a different sphere, but that my insight was useful for them in their work. The Rhodes community spans the planet, right? And the Trust has taken on new partnerships that also expand the reach beyond just scholars or scholars in residence. And I feel like congregating for events like this allows for such a diverse set of perspectives, not just like vocationally, but geographically. So when we talk about public interest technology, the public interest in East Africa is very different than the public interest in the United States. And it's important that we allow these perspectives to sit in the same room and be heard and, and shared. What the Rhodes Trust is doing with all of these people today is a really, it's a blessing. It's really delightful. I would say it's about bringing together some of the brightest minds of today to make sure that we are solving some big issues for tomorrow. A hopeful technology and society would be one where AI and humans work together to create a more sustainable, equitable and just world. We could use our collective knowledge and creativity to create innovative solutions to some of the world's most pressing challenges. Ultimately, I believe that by working together, we can create a better future for all of us.